Hello, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and this is John Allen's Destination Box. Before I talk about this, please, you know the usual drill. It's uh, Steve, and I don't know why that. <laughs> it's onlinemagic.co. Onlinemagic.co is what you should be checking out after this. That's my online training site. It's, it used to be a course, but it's so vast now. It's a training site with all, for all levels, with all aspects, not all of them, aspects of magic. There's no dove magic on there. But there's loads. There's Lincoln Rings, there's live sessions on mentalism with special guests like Luch, David Williams has been on, Andy Gladwin's been on, uh, Danny Goldsmith. I should probably have mentioned that John Allen's been on uh, the live sessions as well, <laughs> seeing as this is his thing. Coin magic, rope magic, sponge ball magic, all the different magic you want, and it's taken me years. I haven't just banged this out. It's a case of uh, more is more, I reckon. Quality and quantity. Onlinemagic.co, check that out for the price. It is preposterous. And Instagram, at Steve Faulkner Podcast, Steve Faulkner's Magic Show. More of that to come very soon. I think that's about it. Probably not, but there you go. Right. I've had this for a long time and performed with it for now, probably about six months. And I've banged on about this on my course. I've talked about it on this channel a lot. And it, it has become the the kind of gold standard and I, I do understand why but it was still surprising for me when I was in the Maldives <laughs> uh, I'm always going around the world I'm not I was very exciting I was performing in the Maldives um, and I was there for a long time for like 13 consecutive nights and these people have seen a lot of not only have they seen me perform a lot you know the year before and every night but they've also seen a lot of magicians because people that are at events all the time see a lot of magicians, more than most lay people. And this again and again and again was the, all of it went well, but the absolute killer, the, you know, could you do the box trick again, which I didn't, but it was a real closer, a really exceptional thing. And again, for many of us, we have done card to impossible locations. And for someone who for years has, pretty much done every kind of impossible location. This is the one that gets, and there's something about it. A little bit, like it's out at the beginning. So John does this wonderful thing of giving it to someone and saying who's the most trustworthy person, which creates this whole conversation around it, which is great. I did a similar thing sometimes, but sometimes I just go, start a trick and go, do, you, do me a favor, hang on to that. You know, make sure I can't get anywhere near it. I don't want anything to do with it. And then people kind of forget about it and it will be a callback at the end. So I do a lot of stuff with the cars, probably too much and then go and then go to the destination box and what it is is you can in front of them if for those of you that don't know undo it and i'm not going to show you it and this comes out uh, and the bag if you want to do it that way um they can if you want choose between the bag and the and the box and it will be in the box folded and they can get it out or you can get it out whatever it's definitely it's totally in the box and it seems like, it, again, it is, you know, there's, there's the John Kennedy box, which is a, a different method. There has been, you know, there's John's Paragon 3D. There's loads of clear boxes, clarity box. I like all of them. I think they're all great, but they're kind of all different and they feel different. And this classic one, for some reason, just gets the responses. It just kills. Don't know why. There's something about it being beautiful, mysterious, opening the box, the whole thing of when you open it, what's inside it. But it's my favorite finale now and I have also done it on stage and in parlor and it kills just as much there as well it is easy it requires boldness it requires a fold John's uh, perfect score I now use all the time for this I didn't before but it, it has helped a great deal so it's totally worth getting um, I do a routine where it where it goes under the box a few times sometimes, which I know gets away from the whole thing of it being away from you, but it's quite a nice thing and then give it to someone and it ends up in the box. So it's more versatile than you think. And I think it's within the ability of most people that are comfortable with a deck of cards, but there is a boldness to it. And only those of you that have performed this kind of thing know what you can get away with. Exactly the same as I talked about with a light. You can fold a card, the trick's finished, you can get away with anything. And then the move itself, if you take your time with it, is very, very simple, and John goes through that. So, big shout out. I'm hoping John will have these in Blackpool. You know, if he hasn't, 
it was a re-release. John came out with this a long time ago and you had to triple fold the card. Well, it was eighth, actually, I think. Might be wrong. Sixth, don't know. Um, and it was, it, this is a, a kind of upgrade, or, or I wouldn't say upgrade, but a kind of second version of that, which has been released quite a long time ago. But again, I'm giving you the heads up. If they haven't got, he hasn't got them in Blackpool, um, do get in touch with him on the site. All the links will be below. Uh, I've checked. He will have them in Blackpool. So there you go. There's John Allen's Destination Box. Absolute stormer. Not a cheap bit of kit, but I've had it for a long time now and it's not showing any signs of wear and tear. And it's beautiful. Right. Have a good one. Take care. See you at Blackpool. I'll be lecturing at five o'clock on Saturday, uh, talking about the myths in magic, the things that we you know, are told we should and shouldn't do and how that may not be true for many of us. And, uh, and do check out onlinemagic.co and like and subscribe. Like and subscribe even. Like and subscribe. Take care.